Hello there Reason people, Buddha here and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be looking at taking a gated device and hooking it up to a normal MIDI note device. So in this particular example, and this is what's been asked on the forum, is how can we wire up a redrum to something like battery? And battery itself actually takes in, you know, your normal MIDI note data, whereas the redrum will just send out a gate data. Well, if you're on Reason 10, it's quite straightforward. And I will be going through an example if you're on 9.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab Mr. Panda's freebie CV tap. We're going to drop that in. We're going to just flip to the back of the rack. In fact, I'm just going to pull this up again. And I'm going to just take the gate data out and start dropping in to the CV tap. Now you may have noticed that I missed out port number two, and that's deliberate because as default, the CV tap, the notes, go from C1 up to D hash 2, D sharp 2. So I'm just going to quickly wire these last couple in. And that's why we don't need to provide any note data because it's actually doing it. And then you can see it's actually whizzing off and playing away there. Nice and straightforward. So what would happen though, if you also notice, obviously we've got 16 ports and that will take us up to around up to this clack here. So what would happen then if I want to say, I want to play that snare instead of that one. Well, what's got to happen is we're going to have to provide it some note data. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make a copy of this purely just so we can see it um, a lot clearer. And I'm just going to take this snare down and drop it into that one there. If I click on there, we hide, 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 hide the wires. And as you can see, that's the, that's the snare we're playing. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to just take out from the CV8X4, I'm going to drop that in, and you can now see we're now playing that new snare. And obviously the CV884 is actually at a value which is equivalent of the E2. So that value is equivalent of the E2. Now as I said, what happens if you're on reason 9.5? Well, what we can do, and up on my CV, uh, sorry, up on my Dropbox, I've got a, a little CV location, and this patch is up there. This is called uh, CV Patch Notes. And basically all it is, is it's loads of <laughs> CV8X4s, and they've all been dialed in to the different MIDI note numbers. So you don't have to sit there and try and work it out yourself. You can do it. You can just come in here and drop it off. So in this particular case, as I said, this happens to be E2. But here is E2 here. I could actually just take that cable. In fact, let's just hide this over here a little bit more. I could take that cable out of E2, drop it in there, and that snare is still going to carry on working. Yeah. As I said, if you're a 9.5, how are we going to handle this? Well, again, Mr. Panda has provided us this small pole, and basically this is for merging in uh, gate and note data together, and then we can output it in one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly disconnect all of these. And then I'm going to start connecting them over here. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gate from here and put it into the gate on the battery, and then the CV. There we go. So now as I start to plug these in, in effect, I'm going to want, so that's two drums, that's a snare, and there we go. And the great thing about all these devices, you can daisy chain them all together, so don't look at this and go, well, actually, there's only eight ports in here, as you can see, I've got, there we go. We have to start daisy chaining these devices up so we can get all the data in correctly. So that's for our next uh, 9.5. As I say, if you've got 10, and then obviously you can download the player and you can just obviously just drop the players on top of each other. Um, again, don't forget, because this is battery, you can have, you can run up to say like three of these, because obviously three of 16 to 48, and that's how many MIDI notes and they happen to be inside battery up to 48. And that's it, we're off and running. Thank you for watching and bye for now.